What is up, MTV Review? It's your girl, Chloe. And I'm back with another video. So let's hop right back into that thing. All right, y'all. So today's video, if y'all could not tell by the title, we are doing Sparkle. Now, if y'all don't know what Sparkle is, you must have not been watching BET. You couldn't have been watching BET, okay? This is around the time when Whitney Houston was popping, she was acting. We got Jordan Sparks, um, Tika Sumter. I can't remember the other actress name, but she did such a good job. Carmen, I know that's her name, Carmen. Y'all, this movie right here is a classic. Let, let's, let's just get into this thing. All right, y'all, so right off the back, we get introduced to Sparkle and Sister. We see Sister go on stage and she performing, she doing her thing, she doing her number, and we get introduced to Styx, okay? And he's supposed to, he's gonna be their manager in the future, okay? And he's seeing a uh, sister on stage and when she done performing, he's trying to get at her like, hey, yo, like, where can I meet you at? Like, I wanna, you know, I wanna manage you. I wanna manage you, you sound good. But they had to rush off and go, okay? Because Mama Whitney, she don't play that. Okay, they snuck out the house just to go and do this performance. They bad, they bad ass. Mm -mm. You know them church parents do not play that. Them church parents do not play that. You better be in the house, okay, by a certain time before street lights come on. Don't be doing all that sneaking out. But they snuck out and they rushing on their way back home. And sister telling um, uh, Spar I keep wanting to call her Jordan. But she, she told Sparkle, she over here like, yo, you gotta start singing your own songs. Like, I can't keep doing this. You know, Sparkle, she really don't have that confidence yet. Like, that, mm, like, that go-getter spirit. Like, she's still kind of like shy and mean. She kind of played the background. And it's just like, she can really be bigger than what she is, but she not there yet. So, we see Sister and Sparkle, they get home. And they sneaking in and their other sister, Dolores, she's telling them, like, yo, like she up, like y'all need to hurry up, like come on, like y'all, y'all was taking too long. So boom, they get home and uh Whitney, I'ma have to call, I'ma have to call Whitney Whitney. Okay, I cannot call her mom. Okay, that was the clearly the mom, but but she get in there and she like, yo, y'all curl y'all hair. She didn't know they snuck out. They had, you know, ran in the room. They covered up real quick. They know what to do, assume position. We seeing them go to church and uh, we see Sticks, the dude who was trying to sign sister at the club. And he's in church and you know, he like, yo, I noticed them girls, like those the girls from the club. Those the girls I was talking about. So after service get out, Sticks, he goes up and he's talking to Jordan. Mind you, these are some grown, women still living with their still living with their mom nothing's wrong with that but the control that their mom has over them is sick but this ain't current in today's time this is like this movie seemed like it could have been based in like the 60s like the 60s 70s around that time that little era up in there so Sticks is outside talking to Jordan, and you know, he's getting a little too loud. He over here talking about the club, and she like, look, 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 my mama don't know how me doing that. You better hush. Boy, you better hush your mouth. So, um, he ends up going to their house, because their mom, you know, she in the church. She um, hosting like a Bible study or something like that. So everybody comes over to um, her house, watch a little TV, of course, read the Bible, do what they just do what they supposed to do and leave. But it had ended, and she you know, like I have to go somewhere. Y'all gonna have to leave. So they're supposed to be gone, but Sticks ends up staying around, and he hears a uh, sparkle on the keyboard, you know, singing like you know she over here singing what she was singing. It's killing it. Sparkle. When I tell you, 
you will see so many people have like so much potential so much talent and it's just like they're withholding all that because it's like they don't even see how great they are but sticks over here like yo you wrote this like this sounds good this sounds so good and then she over here like yeah you know i wrote it i wrote it or whatever like bro yes so they end up he ends up like Jordan and Sticks, they end up of course having a love interest relationship. Like we we know they end up going together. If you watch the movie, you can already tell from right off the bat. He had his eye on Sparkle, okay? He had his eye on Sparkle. So so Sticks ends up convincing Sparkle to get the group together. Especially sister. Alright. Sparkle, when he got done talking to them, she over here like, yo, you just use me to get the sister. That's one of the sisters' names. Sister, you just used me to get the sister. Like, and then he like, yo, you said it yourself. Like, she's the better performer. Like, so she felt a little hurt. She felt a little play. Like, hey, you ain't even have to do me like that if you just want to get sister. Because she the main performer. Like, she got the, the seductiveness. Mind y'all, back in this time, all of that, for, like, women to be doing that, you will be looked at as fast. Like, no especially them growing up in the church like that is a no no the music that they are singing like what dolores she over here telling him like yo i'm going to middle school i'm going to medical school like i'm doing this for my school um i'm not gonna be in this group this long i'm just here for the money and then i'm gonna be out and y'all gonna have to replace me but she was like you better not act like i wasn't in this group or i get my sister's attorney again she's like she's not playing first off we gonna have to start off. Why didn't she get more camera time? Why did she not get more camera time? I'm mad about that because Tinka Sumter really did her thing in this movie. All the girls they had snuck out and they end up going to their performance. So this is their first performance ever. And when they get up on stage, people in the crowd are picking on them. They over here like, yo, look at them. They look like they got on church dresses. Like, look at these girls. Mind you, it's just it's just uh, Sparkle and uh, Dolores. They the only two on the stage. Sister has not came up on the stage yet. So she done ripped her dress up to make herself look all nice and sexual and seductive and all that. And they get up and she get up there and they go on the scene. Boom, the crowd loving it. And we just get this little flash of them just killing it. Killing it at their performances. Like they're doing the thing. Okay, mind you, they have to sneak out. Their mom does not know that they're doing none of this. Okay? They're they living a whole double life, okay? So we get to see a little bit of sister's love life, okay? She's dating Levi, which is Stick's cousin. And he's taking her out on, on a little date or whatever. And, you know, he's talking to her. And, you know, sister, she's kind of like, you know, like, you know, like she didn't heard all this from all these dudes before. She, mind you, sister has been married before. Um, and, you know, he's basically saying like, yo, I know you got a reputation out on you. Like, kind of like being quote unquote fast or whatever out there. But I want to treat you right. I really want to do you good. Like. And then she like, I heard this before. You're going to have to, uh, you know, basically like words are cheap. Words are cheap. You're going to have to show me like, yo, actually you're going to have to say something. So he over here like, yo, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to show you. And he ends up pulling this uh, ring, like this ring box out. And it's like a cutout picture of a ring out. And he shows her like, yo, I'm going to get you this one day. And she'll be like, oh, thank you. Like, uh, uh, uh. We get to see Mike Epps. But his character's name is Satin. He over here like, dang, I'm over here spending all this money on, on real jewelry and all I had to do was cut out a picture? If I would've known that, I would've been doing that. And you know, he kind of like insulting Levi. And Levi, Levi kind of feeling some type of way like, but sister over here eating this mess up. She over here looking at um Satan. <laughs> Satan, I'm gonna call him Satan for the, for, for, for the rest of this video. Satan, he over, she over here looking at Satan. And she over here like, you know, like, like, girl, you better stop. Like, how you on a date with Levi, but you looking at this man like this? Disrespectful. So Levi, he automatically feeling triggered. He feeling pressed, but he keeping his composure. But he over here like, yo, let's leave. Like, no, we got to go. And as they walking out, literally Satan over here taking a picture of her like, what? 
This is some movie. This is some movie. This would not be happening in real life. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I end up seeing the girls and they're at a concert. They're at one of their uh, concerts about to perform. And you mind you, at the time, um, sister is supposed to be dating Levi. Now, just so happened, Satan is at the performance. He's at the concert. And you know, he show up and he gives her flowers like, you know, like here or whatever. And you know, she kind of, Levi kind of feeling some way like, yo, like this is my girl. You over here trying to push up on her. So he getting a little pressed. He getting a little mad. They end up getting in a fight. Uh, Levi, Sticks, all these people's names, Sticks, he's trying to like break them up from fighting because they're doing the absolute most that's when levi lost his girl like oh no no satan had brought sister i think i think the ring that he wanted to give her i think he ended up buying her that that mess is crazy how would you feel if somebody brought your girl a ring that you said that you wanted to get her like that would be heartbreaking on stage of course they're killing their performances they're doing a good job and that is the night that levi lost his girl so <sighs> sister and satan end up dating each other i do not like them together this man he is a clown he is no good for sister but sister still need to get her stuff together whitney the mama she's um getting on to sister and uh sparkle and Dolores, she always, she always stay up on them, getting up on them. She ended up getting pregnant with sister when she was 16 years old. And they don't even, I don't believe that they know their dad or anything like that. She them on their own. She wants them to be these good, perfect church girls, like innocent. And they're just, they're not that. I mean, Sparkle is. Sister, no. Dolores, kind of, you know, she like, in, she like in the middle, like she kind of got a nice mix of like both. She brings him to the family dinner with the pastor and all that, you know, like she's, she's telling them like, yo, I'm getting married to him, this, that, and the third. And the mama is not having it like, because first off, we, he, they at the family dinner, he cussing at the dog on thing. And then she over here like, the mama looking at sister like, yo, this type of dude, you gonna bring in my house. He disrespecting my house in front of the pastor. Like, you doing all this cussing. And sister over here like, oh, he's just a comedian. <sighs> Tell him like, yo, I'm trying to move out. I'm tired of living in this house. Like, they both, all three of them, they all share a room together. In one bed, mind you. One bed, three girls, grown at that. <laughs> Okay, sister, she divorced and she's remarried. And basically Whitney told her like, if you leave my house, you're not coming back. Like there is no coming back. I'm not taking you back again. Like if you leave with this man, you gone for good. Like he disrespect, like she didn't say he disrespect, but just him all together. He is just disrespectful. He is not the type of guy you want to be with, end up with. But she over here like, yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my own stuff. I'm trying to get my own house, my own place. Like, I'm tired of being up under you. Then she kind of went in on Sparkle a little bit. She was like, you know, I don't want to be just a little church mouse like uh, Sparkle, who's just gonna work at the, uh, they work at this dress shop. I guess they make dresses or something like that. She's like, yeah, Sparkle, she can, she can uh, listen to you and do whatever you want, but I'm not doing that. Dolores, you want her, you know, it's okay. She gonna be a doctor or whatever. And I'm supposed to marry Dr. Blake. Cause the mama, Whitney, she basically was like, I could have introduced you to so many guys, an accountant, a lawyer, a doctor, you know, a judge, you know, all this type of stuff. And you want to be with him. And she like, yo, like, I don't want to marry no doctor, none of that. I want to marry him. Sister left. Sister gone. And sister and uh, Satan at the house, you know, chilling, I guess, enjoying their newlywed life. Everything looks like it's going good for the most part. And in one of the scenes, we just see they're at one of their performances. And sister face is beat up like black eye okay and mind you she is on that stuff she is on that stuff okay 
and they'll be like what's going on like you need to get away from him like what's going on and she like it's okay you don't need to come back i hate seeing women in abusive relationships and people trying to help them and they don't want the help like it is so sad they trying to help their sister out like she is getting beat on but look she she gave him a nice little mark too we're not gonna sit up here and act like she didn't get her link back too so she put her face on she put her face together now this is a big performance they're supposed to be performing for aretha franklin and they get out there and they sing and this is my favorite song that they sing giving him something he can feel giving him something he can feel and then i like how they pan over to uh satan and you just see that like scratch mark on his face that sister gave him like yeah she gave you something you can feel he gave you something you can feel too they walk out we see sister then they say that i'm too young you see the other sisters they singing it's just perfect girl and then sparkle she's singing the um sticks she looking at him in the um from the background and she looking at him like singing to him come here now while all of this is happening they mama see them on tv performing Oh my goodness. Mind you, she don't know. She don't know that they're doing any of this. As far as she know, they in their room sleeping. She look, she look up and she see her um kids on the stage singing. Like, little sparkle in them, they go back home. Sparkle and doors, they go back home. They mama, she just sitting up waiting for them like this. I mean, here goes Sparkle. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mama. Oh, Whitney don't want to hear none of that. Whitney does not want to hear none of that. That performance. Um, one of the men there, he wanted to sign them. So he like he didn't want to sign them that night because he was like, I want to see them in the daylight. Like, I want to be going to a meeting tomorrow to get signed to a record label. Child, um, Dolores, she done cut her hair. Baby, she is getting very much black queen i am her fro fro okay she sticks like what happened to your head like girl how i'm supposed to sell this she like yo you the manager figure it out sparkle comes they're like yo we have a meeting soon and like where's sister at? like she is not here and sparkle knew where uh sister was at already there she in the dog on supply closet So Dolores follows Sparkle. For Sparkle, they end up taking the drugs from her or whatever. But they still like, you know how they is trying to stop people on drugs. Like they don't want to have that. So the man trying to sign them, they like, yo, like I'm like my assistant. She just told me like the lead singer, she up in there and beating up because she had like this big bruise on her face too. And then he over here like, yo, she not even here yet. Like that's not true. They unlocked the door, chow. They done lost the deal. The deal is gone. So that night, Sticks told Sparkle, like, I'm about to leave. Like, I got to get out of here. Like, let's go to California. Like, go to California with me. Like, I heard that people trying to pop off over there. It's supposed to be a nice scene. Come with me. Sparkle, like, I can't, like, you know, I can't, I can't go. Like, no, like, I have to stay here. Sparkle. Sparkle be getting on my nerves sometimes. Like I love the way that she love her family. She want to be there for her family, but it's just like she don't live for herself. Stick trying to help her live for herself, and she's still trying to live for her people. Like what? Come on. They trying to get a uh, sister out the house with Satan. So he come home and he like he see that they trying to pack her up or whatever, and then he over here. She over here like. Um, baby, like, they trying to make me go, but I don't even want to go, like, and then he over to me, like, y'all, y'all need to go, get out of my house. So Sparkle over here, like, yo, you know, our sister just need help, like, we were just wondering if he was to tell her. <laughs> he slapped her. You can beat, look, you can beat on sister, but you're not gonna hit Sparkle. Sister get up and she like, that's my sister. And they're all attacking him or whatever. And then Dolores, or was it Sparkle? I think it might've been Dolores. She ended up picking up like this thing from the fire pit. Boom, ended up hitting this man in the back of the head. 
He died. Satan died, y'all. You will not prevail, Satan. You will not prevail. Okay. But they, she end up uh, killing him, and she over here trying to give him CPR, breathing in his mouth, like, did I kill him? And then sister, like, y'all gotta go, go, just go, 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 like, leave, like, y'all. Sister end up getting arrested. Sister end up getting arrested and going to jail. Dolores end up going who? That she the one who killed. Uh, Satan, she end up going to school or whatever. And Sparkle, she's still living with her mom. Now, during this time, and you know, I just told you, she done rejected uh, Sticks' offer to go to California. So, during all of this, you know, she visiting sister. And sister, Waddy over the phone at the jail visit, she's over here like, Sparkle, stop coming here to visit me. Like, you have a life to live. And she's like, what? Like... Who else gonna come and visit you? Who else can come and see you? Like, and she like, yo, stop coming here. Don't come here no more. Like, she wants Sparkle to live her life. Cause this child, Sparkle will not live her life. She will live her life for other people before she live for herself. So that kind of helps Sparkle get on her her stuff. So one day, she's at the house just chilling, watching TV, and her mom tell her like, go to bed. We got church in the morning. Curl your hair up. And so Sparkle kind of look at her like. Like she tired of this like you see that look in her eyes like i'm tired of this i'm fed up with this like i want to like live for me so sparkle ends up moving out getting her own apartment she getting a new job she don't work with her mom no more um but she keeps going down to the record label place to get a record deal and every day she showed up she showed up nobody would uh because she didn't have an appointment so she was just like i'll just wait until he's available so she was showing up for days at a time and she finally got uh to meet with him and i'm so glad it's just like the consistency like she showed up every single day until she got a chance to talk to him like i'm not leaving until i can talk to him like she didn't leave until it was closing time like coming in every single day and she ends up talking to him like and convincing him like hey give me a shot so he's like okay i'm gonna have to see you on the show I gotta see you on the show to see how you do. So she ended up going to Sticks. Sticks didn't leave yet. So she go ends up going to Sticks and like, hey, like I need you to help me put together a show. And you're the guy to do it. They end up getting back together, y'all. They end up getting back together. Before they had ended up breaking up because she didn't want to go with him. I don't know why they made them break up. But they broke up for some reason. They're weird like that, but I love them. But they end up getting back together. And Sparkle, she ends up going back to her mom's house to give her a flyer to um, come to the show. And automatically, when she come up to the door and her mom opens the door, she kind of looking at her all stank like, how you gonna greet your daughter like that? And she'll be like, hey mama, like, you know, I want you to come to my show. And then her mama, she just watching the TV, like not even minding her, like, <laughs> and she over here laughing, like literally acting like Sparkle does not exist. And Sparkle, she's like, you know, you know, just you, she wants her mom to come, but she ended up leaving. Now I didn't tell y'all, but Tamala Man is in this movie also, and she's uh Whitney Houston best friend. And she like, yo, when are you gonna learn from the mistakes? When are you gonna learn? Like, but we end up seeing Sparkle person for her uh her show and whatnot, and. We get into that. We get down to the big show. Uh, so we see Sparkle in this red, beautiful dress. It's looking amazing, and she's on her piano and she's uh, singing a song. She's dedicate. She's dedicating it to sister, and it is so beautiful. Like I love it. Oh, that's really it. That's really it. Like you know, the movie ends. Of course, she ended up getting a record deal. He ends up signing her. And I mean, that's really it. Sparkle is just a good movie. 2012, we got a stat cast. We got Whitney, we got Jordan, we got Tamala, we got uh, Tika, we got Carmen. We got, I can't even remember his name, but the dude who plays Sticks, like he's an amazing actor too. You probably see him in some Tyler Perry movie. You got Mike Epps. 
you got CeeLo Green was up in there. He only played a little small part, but you got CeeLo up in there. But y'all, that was basically in the movie. Okay, watch it. I recommend if you like, if you can relate to church, if you can relate to music, watch it. In the link in the description below, make sure y'all check out Luxon. Okay, they have provided me with this nice necklace. And if you use my code Chloe25, you can get a 25% discount code Luxon. Luxon. So be sure to click the link in the description below and check it out. You know, I got this nice necklace on. Y'all might have seen it in some other videos I have, but check it out. They have a lot of nice jewelry. They're up and coming, so check them out. That's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.